Uh, yeah. September 14th, you tweeted this, Johnny football go time with the OVO sign. And then we also noticed yeah. that uh, Johnny football, Jenny Menzel has the OVO tattoo. Take a look at this, folks. Now, so I have to ask you, how did this relationship even began and where is it now? He's one of your boys, clearly. Yeah, I mean, it really started out um, with him just being, you know, first of all, Johnny's like one of the best guys. He's got, he's got a pure heart. He's got, he's, he's, got, he's very strong-minded. Okay. Um, it, it bothers me when people try and sh strip him of that because he, he is actually like, you know, that, that's what uh, drew me to him is he's, he's definitely like an incredible guy. Um, he was a big supporter of the music and he actually got the OVO tattoo before we ever really met. He really? was like that, he was that much of a, you know, a supporter and a fan. And, um, and I just like drew parallels, you know, I mean, I, I, I like to be a positive reinforcement in his life. And, uh, yeah, we, we went from just kind of being, oh, come to the show and, you know, me supporting his games to actually being friends. And I feel like our friendship will last for, for a very long time. Um, and, you know, I have, like, the Aggies radio app on my uh, iPhone, and really? I, I pay attention to his performances, and much like he does mine. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're a duo. A Johnny I mean. supporter. I, yeah, I, I, I got a lot of love for, for, for Johnny. I met him. I had the pleasure of meeting him during the NBA Finals. We had, we had hung out for mm -hmm. a little while, had dinner together, and then I got him on the show to surprise Skip when they were right. in San Antonio uh, uh, for the Finals. I, I, and, and, you know, I appreciate you and, and the greatness that you exhibit all the time, and especially the way you carry yourself. I got to ask you. In light of that reality, when you look at some of the news that he's generated, right. I know that you get upset, like you just said, when mm -hmm. you see people trying to change him to some degree. What level of culpability do you feel he has for putting himself in some of those situations? Um, I think that... And what end, do you say to him, by the way? I mean, well, yeah. I think that... It, it, even, even with me and, you know, the way I carry myself, I mean, I started very early, and... Some of the mistakes I made weren't widely publicized because I was, you know, on Degrassi and we weren't that famous. I mean, we were famous, but um, it's, it's, it's stepping stones. It's a learning experience, you know, and I think that to go from, you know, zero to 100 right away, the spotlight's on brighter than ever. Mm -hmm. um, I think that he's just kind of going through the motions. And, of course, there is accountability, you know, in some situations. Um, I encourage him to have stronger discipline um, than anybody else. And I tell him, like, you know, in this position that we're in, it takes major sacrifice. And a lot of the time, you know, I know you want to live your life and I know you want to have fun, but there's also, like, a bigger picture here. And we're in it for the long term. And I try and, you know, implement that into his psyche. And I, say, and, and, and I tell him, like, you know, let's, let's just let's, let's have that, let's have that discipline. Let's sacrifice all the fun, even if it means coming to see me. You know, if they're going to scrutinize you about coming to see me, don't worry. We'll, we'll see each other. You play, you play your game. Mm. So that's the, that's the best advice I can offer. I'm with you 100% on your description of Johnny on and off the field. Yes. Then I read a quote from his mom in ESPN the magazine saying that when Johnny said I'm gonna go up to Toronto and hang out with Drake she was horrified by that <laughs> can you give us a little backdrop as to how that weekend went how wild that weekend was I mean I guess that's the thing that bothers me the most is um, it, it's kind of uh, offensive to me for people to think that coming to hang out with Drake means you I'm gonna like you know your career is going into a downward spiral party and, and, and everything and else. To, yeah. to mom to mom <laughs> and everybody else like Paul uh, who I just talked to and everybody who assumes that a weekend with Drake is that I mean my goal is to I want to see this kid thrive and succeed so I would never put him in any situation um, I would never put him in jeopardy you know he came out there for the music and for the experience and it was a phenomenal experience and we, we had fun um, I'm the guy that's making sure that you know nobody's taking pictures even if there's nothing even if we're not doing anything wrong I'm, I'm the one that's like my eyes are peeled and I tell everybody around me like make sure he's good yeah. taken care of because it, it's it's for me it's not about hanging out and looking cool because I know Johnny Manziel I've actually like I care about this mm. guy you know so um, yeah, uh, weekends with Drake don't always have to be wild. Now, they do get wild. You know, for example, if me and Skip hang out oh. you know, on the weekend, hey. things oh, might get Stop crazy it. because, you yes, know, he's, he's, so allowed, crazy. he's allowed to do Trust it. me, that's yeah. the least of your concerns. That's the last thing you'll be that's doing. That's the least of your concerns. I, I was in that started from the bottom video. Remember that? I was in there. Yeah, they just, they just never yeah. want to give you the credit.